Hello, my science friends. Today, we're going to talk about writing. It was one of the top 10 requests I received on our PD survey. I thought I would dive into a quick writing strategy to get your kiddos citing sources, quoting ideas, and providing evidence. And the bonus is that name it, verb it, finish it strategy can be used in any content area. So this is a strategy that is really useful in teaching students to summarize, to write evidence statements for CER, and quote information from source material. One of the biggest difficulties my students always had was that they would write well, let's be honest, copy and paste these great sentences, but they would forget to give credit to the source of the material. I was introduced to this strategy by Lynn Figurate in the Riverside County Office of Education at one of our regional meetings. And I thought, what a great solution to one of the biggest problems my students were facing in writing. So what is the name it, verb it, finish it strategy? The name it, verb it, finish it strategy is a way to take notes and organize your evidence statements into complete ideas while giving credit to the original source material. The name it, you're going to name the source, name the title, and name the author. When you name the source, it can be any source material. That's why we name the source of the information. It could be a website, a podcast, a video. It could even be an activity that you're doing with students in the class. Then you name the title of the source. During this step, you can teach the students the proper punctuation for citing these titles. And finally, we add the author's or creator's name to the sentence. If the author or creator is unknown, the writer can use a generic title like the author or the creator, even the scientist or the teacher if you're doing an activity in class. Here is one example of the name it part of the final evidence statement. Notice that when I'm working on this part of the sentence, as a teacher, I can highlight where the punctuation goes because I can teach it in isolation and in the context of citing the source. Let's talk about verbing it. Think about the action that's taken by the author or creator of the source material. A video might show or explain an author might illustrate or define. Having a word bank of source material, verbs available to the students might help with this portion of the summary. So students can select the correct verb that fits with the source that they were looking at. Finally, we move into the finishing stage. The finishing stage is really where the students use the material to summarize. And so we're going to complete the ideas with details from the text, the data, or the experience that the students had. So based on the verb that was chosen, students can finish the sentences in multiple ways. A student might use the same name it and verb it with a different finish it to cite more than one detail from the original source. So to have students practice different parts of the strategy, you can provide the name it and verb it portions and then ask the students to finish it. Or you can call attention to the use of a variety of verbs that could be used. You could give the students the name it and finish it portions and ask them to use an appropriate verb to finish the sentence. And here's what your final product looks like. I've put together a couple of slides that might help you or your students use this tool in your classroom. The first slide can be used to teach students the process of name it, verb it, finish it. It's a single statement uh, resource. The second tool can be used to track multiple statements, either from the same source or multiple sources on the same topic. Please feel free to make copies of these slides and change them up as you need to use them. As always, thanks for learning with me and feel free to reach out anytime you need help with the science instruction. For watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.